In ancient Kemet, Geb was the god of the earth and one of the Enid of Heliopolis, the nine beings who came to earth from the Sirius star system. His grandfather was Atum Ra, the self-created creator god. His father was Shu, the god of the air. And his mother was Tefnut, the goddess of moisture. Asar, Aset, Set, and Nephthys were the children of the union between Geb and his sister wife, Nut who was the goddess of the sky. Geb was the third divine pharaoh, reigning after his father Shu and before Asar. He supported Horus' right to the throne following the murder of Asar at the hands of Set. The worship of Geb originated around Heliopolis during the pre-dynastic period. It seems that Geb was largely worshipped as a goose, which was his sacred animal. Geb's worship was widespread throughout Kemet and Cush, with centers of worships in various cities around the world. Edfu was called At of Geb, and Dendera was also known as the home of the children of Geb. Geb was sometimes considered to be bisexual in some aspects. As a male, he fathered four children with Nut, but in his shrine in Heliopolis, he laid the great egg, which symbolized rebirth and renewal, from which the sun god arose in the form of a phoenix or a benben. He was given the name the Great Cackler because of the noise he made when the egg was laid. The earth itself was referred to as the House of Geb. Earthquakes were thought to be his laughter, and it was he who supplied the minerals and precious stones found in the earth as the god of mines and caves. The sign used as his name became associated with vegetation and the lush farming land by the Nile. It was said that barley grew in his ribs, and he was depicted with green patches of vegetation all over his body. As a god of the harvest, he was sometimes considered to be the spouse of the cobra goddess. He had authority over the tombs buried in the earth and assisted in the ritual weighing the heart of the deceased in the halls of Ma'at. The justified dead were given words of power which allowed them to ascend to the sky, while those whose hearts were weighed down by guilt were trapped in the earth by Geb. Thus, he could be a malevolent being and a beneficial being. Geb and his sister Nut had angered the sun god Ra, their grandfather, because for many years they were locked in a perpetual embrace. On the orders of Ra, they were separated by Shu, who stood on Geb and lifted Nut high above him, creating our atmosphere by separating the sky from the earth. However, Nut was found to be pregnant and gave birth to Asar, Horus the Elder, Set, Aset, and Nephthys. But Geb still longed for his sister and was often depicted lying prone with his erect phallus pointing towards her. He wept when he was separated from her and so created the oceans of the world from his tears. After she was weakened from fighting the Apet demon, Geb ascended to the throne and ruled as a wise and kind pharaoh who protected the land and its people. Geb is usually depicted as a man wearing a combination of a white crown and the Atef crown although he is also depicted as a goose, which was his sacred animal. When he takes the form of a man, he is generally prone, as a personification of the earth, and sometimes colored green, with vegetation growing from his body. As the earth, he is often seen lying beneath the sky goddess Nut, leaning on one elbow, with one knee bent toward the sky, echoing the shape of the two mountains in the valley.